what are your weaknesses and that is our topic of discussion today if you are asked during interview how would you answer how you should answer if you want to know then stick around and let's get started if you are frequent visitor to my channel welcome back if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings and make sure that you hit subscribe button before we move forward with today's topic and i assume that you have subscribed to the channel now let's move forward okay so you are sitting in an interview and you have been asked by interviewer what are your weaknesses because this is the most commonly asked question by asking this question interviewer has put you in a spot in a awkward situation because this question is the most difficult to answer when it comes to strengths a lot of people they tend to answer the strengths part of this question in a fluent way but when it comes to answering the weaknesses they tend to struggle so before we even go in detail we need to understand why do interviewer ask this kind of question what do they want to know well they want to know whether you are self aware or not whether you know your strengths and weaknesses or not if you don't know your weaknesses or strengths that will be considered a very big negative point and probably you are not going to get that job offer so it's very important for you to understand self aware uh what you what you know what you don't know what are your strengths what are your weaknesses and accordingly be truthful when in, when telling to the interviewer so how should you answer this question as that's the topic of this particular video i'm going to give you three common answers to this question how can you answer uh, this particular type of question and i have a bonus tip at the end of the video so keep watching till the end of this video when it comes to telling the weaknesses don't just tell them what are your weaknesses if you just simply tell them what are your weaknesses and that's it that will be considered a negative point what you need to tell them i have these weaknesses but i have a plan to improve to overcome in those challenges or weaknesses so when i'm going to tell you those three answers that you can use when it comes to this particular question i'm going to also tell you what you need to tell to your interviewer what are your improvement plans so here we go the first one is i'm very detailed oriented now you must be thinking and your interview will also ask you by looking at you how come this is a weakness because detail oriented person are considered uh, as as a valuable person people and you can answer them i pay a lot of attention to detail in everything which sometimes may cause the delay and that delay is considered as a weakness so that is your weakness you are telling them what are your weaknesses but on other hand on the other side of the picture you can tell that because i pay attention to detail in everything the uh, the uh, my work and the process that i follow tend to have zero defects zero problems which in turn uh, benefits the organization so basically you're telling them this is your weakness but you're also telling them this is not your weakness so that's a superb answer to give and also attach what are your improvement plans your improve, improvement plans you can answer that i'm continuously learning to prioritize my tasks and that is your improvement plan second answer you give is sometimes i have a hard time to say no so that is a very big one which means you can tell them that i often have hard time to say no which sometimes cause overburden um basically you're telling them that sometimes you accept everything whatever comes on your way and that cause the overburden and overburden cause the stress 
and the stress cause the uh, deterioration in the quality of your work so how you are improving you are improving by learning uh, how to stay organized and managing the time very well so that is your improvement plan in order to overcome this particular challenge the third answer you can give is uh, you have trouble in asking for help and in context you can explain that because i want to learn and improve my skills i often try to solve challenges on my own although you are telling this as your negative point or your weakness but you are also indicating to the interviewer that you have this uh, uh, eager eagerness to learn and grow in your current role and also for the next role as well so how you are improving well again you are learning to ask for help whenever it is required to save your time and energy that's the appropriate answer you are giving now these are the three answers you can give although you are you are telling your weaknesses but the suggestion here is it is important that you stay positive and stay truthful so be positive even it it is your weakness be, be truthful because that will give a positive sign to uh, your interviewer that you are willing to learn you are willing to improve uh, in your career and that becomes a very solid point in your cv here's a bonus tip never say i don't have a weakness i have seen a lot of people they say i don't have a weakness or i can't say what are my weaknesses um never say because anyone anyone who is sitting on the top today or everyone has some sort of uh, weaknesses so never say that you don't have a weakness if you are struggling to answer this question ask your interviewer that if he or she don't mind to give a little bit time for you to answer this question i'm sure that will be fine okay so to summarize the uh, three points that i have i have told you in this video first is i'm very detail oriented that's the answer you can give second answer you can give is hard time to say no third answer you can give is you have trouble in asking for help not only tell your weaknesses but also explain how you are planning to improve these in these particular areas and last but not the least never say i don't have weakness i hope you have learned something from this video even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed hit the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i upload a new video and also smash the like button if you have liked this video share it with others on social media with your colleagues friends family members um hopefully somebody will get something out of it um okay guys so please visit my website also www.looplearnings.com some exciting exciting stuff is coming up anyway thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one